Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It is Monday, July 24th, 2023. Here's what's happening today in America. An American in North Korea. Biden sues Texas. AI in the military. And the last Michael Phelps world record goes down. That's all coming up. Then Bill will be here with your message of the day. But first, the House Foreign Affairs Committee Chair, Michael McCall, spoke about getting that American back from North Korea. I think it's clear that he defected. He walked across the border on his own. I don't know what else. It wasn't an accident. He was in a South Korean jail for 47 days. He was taken to the Seoul airport to come back to the States for some military discipline. That's when he left the airport and walked across the border into North Korea. Apparently, I he thought the North Koreans would treat him better than the U.S. military. The House chairman says, I worry about the price we will pay to get him back. But should we spend any time or money or manpower trying to get him back? Operation Lone Star is an effort by Texas to do what they can under state law to secure the border and keep Texas safe. About a couple weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, they installed a, along parts of the Rio Grande River these giant orange buoys. And when you grab them, they spin, so you can't climb over them. And there's a net underneath, is my understanding, so you can't swim under them. Well, the Biden administration just sued them to remove the barriers because of humanitarian concerns. Governor Greg Abbott said they will not be removing the barriers. A three star general in the military said that the American military's posture towards artificial intelligence and warfare is more ethical than other countries because we are a Judeo-Christian society. Well, he's taking some heat about that from people of other religions who say that, you know, Judeo-Christian ethics aren't the only ethics that exist in the world. But I give him heat because what if we're no longer a Judeo-Christian society? Have you seen how woke our military has become? A military with a Judeo-Christian worldview would not be paying for their female soldiers to have an abortion so we can hurry up and deploy her to the front lines, among other things. Michael Phelps, the man with the most gold medals in history and also the most world records, has one world record still on the books. Had one world record still on the books. This is one that he held for 21 years. No one was faster than Michael Phelps for 21 years. And then this French 21-year-old comes up and crushed the record by 1.34 seconds. He was awarded his gold medal on the podium by Michael Phelps, who was also cheering him on in the announcer's booth for the entire swim. It's amazing. These records that people think will never be broken, they always are. Mike Slater from the podcast Politics by Faith. The great Bill O'Reilly is here with your message of the day. Next. Introducing Team Life Insurance from Team Provider. Home to Big Lou, the life insurance guru. Big Lou specializes in finding affordable term life insurance for individuals with health conditions. Even if you are a 50-year-old guy with a few extra pounds and type 2 diabetes, you can secure a million dollars worth of coverage for just $200 per month. Big Lou's team has assisted thousands like you overcoming the belief that term life insurance is unaffordable. Whether you have type 2 diabetes, are overweight, or suffer from high blood pressure, Big Lou will work to find you a suitable plan. Remember, Big Lou understands your situation. He's on medication, too. So contact Big Lou, 800-444-9336, or visit BigLou.com for affordable term life insurance, 800-444-9336. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. Going to college is very different than it was when I, your humble correspondent, got degrees from three schools. I can say this with certainty because I have two urchins participating in higher education and the tuition bills are something to see. I carry them around in case I run into Joe Biden, the debt forgiveness guy. Anyway, back in the Stone Age, I got a bachelor's degree in history from Marist College, a master's in broadcast journalism from Boston U and another master's from Harvard's Kennedy School that wanted public administration. So when it comes to matriculating, don't mess with me. Enter Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. That Ivy League school is so woke, you don't need alarm clocks on campus. The school newspaper recently took a survey and reported that 38% of the students are gay or something approaching gay or something. 
That brought immediate social media headlines and predictable reaction. There was celebration in San Francisco and the gnashing of teeth in conservative districts. The reaction is just what the Weisenheimers at Brown wanted. Worldwide, homosexuals comprise about 7% of the population, according to most studies. And another study, done by me, says 75% of Brown students are happy to mock every survey they receive. Gay? Sure. And we are exceedingly happy to take you for a ride. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Now let's go to the mail. Uh, Dan Posey, Riverside, California. I'm a Republican. I've always voted for Trump. That may change if he does not scale back the divisive rhetoric. I'm not expecting the scale back, but I hope he does. Dan Kubis, Natick, Massachusetts. It seems the right is outmaneuvered in strategic thinking and planning by the left all the time. The left is destroying the right with social issues like racism, identity, politics, immigration, division. Where is the right's K Street? The right has think tanks and they do analysis, but the media is on the side of the left, which is why that message, the progressive left message, gets out far more than the conservative right message. That's what that's all about. Jillian, concierge member, the original Snow White 1937 was Walt Disney's masterpiece, first feature length animated motion picture. My guess is that Prince Charming is out because a feminist doesn't need him anymore. And it's, I'm, I'm broken hearted for Prince Harry. I thought he was going to get that role. I thought Prince Harry was going to get the Prince Charming role. No, no more Prince Charming. Jim, Plainview, New York on Long Island. Love the chemistry between you and Geraldo, two icons. Geraldo always seems to wiggle his way out from giving you the response, but we know with you he can't. You know, I, look, Geraldo answers my questions. I mean, if he didn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put him on. Christine Arendas, Huntington Beach, California. Just had Mohs surgery last Wednesday. Basal cell carcinoma, right forearm. One more to go on my shoulder. Um, I should have seen my doctor much sooner. I lost a longtime friend of melanoma last year. My father died from melanoma. And that's why I got this surgery right here. And uh, I got to get the stitches out uh, in a couple of days. In a moment, something you might not know. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped 20 percent. And this year could be worse. You are right to be worried. So please call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They'll show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I have been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 877-444-GOLD 877-444-GOLD or text G-O-L-D GOLD to 65532. Again, 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. This week marks the halfway point of summer. It always goes so fast. From the beach to the backyard, many Americans are enjoying the warm weather with some classic music. Here are the top 10 summer songs ranked by me, your humble correspondent. That's right. I rank these songs on my own. So here we go. Number 10, 1969, Hot Fun in the Summertime by Sly and the Family Stone. Number 9, 1960, Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Bikini by Brian Hyland. Come on. It's a classic Check it out if you have not heard that song. Number eight, 1966, Summer in the City by The Love and Spoonful, Hotter Than a Match Hit. Seven, 1982, Vacation by the Go-Go's, All They Ever Wanted. Six, 1983, Cruel Summer by Bananarama. 
Great name for a band. Number five, 1964, Fun, Fun, Fun by the Beach Boys, still an excellent tune. Number four, 1964, Under the Boardwalk by the Drifters, up on the roof is great too. Number three, 1964, The Warmth of the Sun by the Beach Boys, Brian Wilson is a summer genius. Number two, 1969, Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles. And the best summer song of all time, 1972, Summer Breeze by Seals and Crofts. Roll it. See the curtains hanging in the window in the evening on a Friday night. Little light is shining through the window, lets me know everything's all right. So there you have it, the perfect soundtrack for the second half of summer. As the Beach Boys tell us, catch a wave and you're sitting on top of the world. Indeed. Enjoy the rest of the summer. Back after this. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or have no warranty at all, listen up. Car Shield has a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that's now available to the public. Save on out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. So please call Car Shield now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. 800-925-7584 for a free quote. This protection plan is at an all-time low in price. Drivers who activate the vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistant, free towing and car rental options at no additional cost. So please call for your free quote, 800-925-7584, 800-925-7584. Hey, what do you have to lose? 800-925-7584. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.